I just got back from lunch and there was a package from my buddy Dave over at DT Sports Cards sitting on my front porch. So I'm excited about that. This is my second PSA submission through him. Or them. I'm not sure how big the company is, but Dave is the guy I'm always dealing with. I believe he's the owner of the company. And, oh, that sucks right off the bat. I've seen this card graded. Why? We're going to have to figure that out. I have to look into to what all that means. Damn, that just took the uh, wind out of my sails. So here are our stacks. Min Sizer Q. That I'm going to need to figure out what that means. Damn, man. For those of you who haven't seen this card before, this is the 1996 Ken Griffey Jr. card from Nintendo. Came in the Super Nintendo game. I think it was Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball. One of them. He also had a 94 card. Or, I'm sorry, this is 96. So this is for uh, Nintendo 64. There was also a Super Nintendo version that presumably is in this stack. Should be. These cards are wafer thin, too. And that's another thing that annoys me is that this card, as thin and as old as it is, was pretty good. I was thinking probably an 8, maybe even a 9. But we're going to have to reach out and figure out why they sent that. Or I'll just send it to them again. Fuck them. All right, moving on. Here's another Ken Griffey Jr. card. An 8, no, nah, not bad. For 25 years old. I would have thought it was a little bit higher. But, I mean, that corner's good. There, there's a little softness there. So I'm not upset. It's a dope looking card all the same. Looks nice. Here's, all right, so this is the Super Nintendo. No, not the Super Nintendo. Nike. Another very rare Ken Griffey Jr. card. Well, nothing's really rare, but uncommon, I suppose. And this is about what I expected. The kid again. This is the Super Nintendo one I was talking about. Wouldn't have sent it if I thought it was going to be a seven. And that, for me, is kind of the difficulty, the drop-off between 8 and 7. In that corner and that corner, a little bit. I'm getting beat down today. Another Ken Griffey. Another 7. Play Ball USA. This one I'm not too surprised about. It wasn't the, uh, <clears throat> the best condition. The only one I had, though. And my homie Jared Cerna. 9. That's a shame, but not really. He got, well, he's down in Miami now. He's no longer on uh, Hudson Valley Renegades. So hopefully what that means is now he's got a much better shot of getting called up. The high A guys in the, in the Yankees organization. Here's another Jared Cerna card. I think this one out of 75. All right, that got a 10. Not bad. And I did jump the gun a little bit. He had a killer first half of the season. Not so great on the second half. Here's another. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. This one's the 50. So a 50 to 10. Funny story about this. Holy shit. I just got another one of these. I sent an offer and it was accepted like five minutes later. I thought, oh, great. Not great. So I realized it was the non-auto version and I paid way more than comps are right now for the raw version of this card. And it was a, a good price if it was autographed. And that's why I thought, oh, he's taking the offer. It's a fair price. No, he's taking the offer because his card was overpriced. And it was really not his fault. I can't blame him. I blame myself and the eBay search algorithm. There's a Cerna Auto. How many more Cerna cards did I dump in? I am, uh, if you haven't figured out, a super collector of Cerna. A nine. I invested pretty heavily. There's a ten. So hopefully, yeah, I'll be able to make some of this back. And there's one more. Not numbered. Should not have been sent. But, eh, rookie mistakes. Dominique with the nine. It's weird. This card, yeah, you can kind of tell in a video. I got this from a, a bargain bin. And the main reason why I sent it in is but the colors were actually, I thought, more vivid white. But apparently they were starting to fade already. Either way, not bad. 87. I think centering is probably the only issue. Those corners are solid. My bargain bin guy, he rips a lot of old wax and he just tosses it in his bargain bin. Case in point, Dennis Rodman. Again, centering was a little bit off. 
Steph. Okay, happy about that. Oh, no, it was just the plastic. There was a, a thumbprint, and I thought, how did I not wipe that off before I sent it? But no, just on the case. It's okay. No big deal. And clay. 10, nice. It's clay to 25. And I've noticed, I don't know if they changed it or if it's only for one of ones, but I've seen some PSA slabs will have one of one on the top, but then others, like this is a uh, six of 25. Still, I'm pretty pumped about that. Clay's one of my PC guys too. All right, moving on. Nolan Ryan post. It'll be like a seven or an eight. Seven. And this was the best one I had. Still not bad. I mean, these I got in 1991. This was most likely in a box of cereal and then had been sitting in a box in an attic since probably about 93 or 94. So pretty pumped about that. Always good to see Nolan Ryan back. Adley Rushman, this should be a 10. And it is. Beautiful card. Very nice. Chandler Simpson. Okay, I'll take the 10. I haven't checked up on him in a couple weeks. He should be a he should be stable enough. Another Chandler Simpson, another 10. Oh, and all right, so here's something many of you are probably screaming, plus we're probably since we saw the Cerna card, I didn't realize the uh, the added value of having uh, certified autographs also certified by PSA. I'll know for next time because I have a whole bunch more to get done. Paul Skeens, we did well on the Skeens in the first round. I got all 10s except for the one of the AIs was a 9 and one of his... Bowman first was a nine that left 14 tens. So let's see if they recognize my name. Nope. There's an AI nine. At least we know what it's worth. Here's another AI nine. And honestly, I, I kind of thought that when I sent my Paul Skeens in early, like the week before his call up, and I had a feeling they were kind of grading a little bit loose if we're being honest with ourselves. Here's the Paul Skeens. I think there's, yeah, the stars and stripes. Nine. It's all right. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Uh, what's that? 90 Fleer? 91 Fleer. 90 Fleer. Eight. That sucks. And there's way too many of these available. Each time, I, I mean, I look over more and more because then I, I know what I'm looking for. But now that it's in the slab, now I can see corners. I'm like, why would I send that when I can see the corner from, from a good foot and a half from the card itself? That's strange. Gypsy? Or a Goodwin Champion, not Gypsy. I like it. It's a PC card anyway, so Jordan 9 is fine with me. And Larry Legend. Back looks good. Or are we going to guess 8? Yeah, centering's way off. I just thought it was cool. I have a friend who's a Larry collector. But damn, I got slaughtered. So let's see. Especially considering that clay is a personal collection, so that's not going anywhere. I could have swore there was a different curry that I sent in. So I think mostly nines. All these Cerna cards. Hopefully they can make up for my little Cerna hiccup that I presented a couple days ago. And what sucks even more is like the seller's super cool. He reached out, he's like, hey dude, thanks, you know. Glad we came to a price. Shipping your card tomorrow, then emailed again when he shipped. Hey, just got back. Man, I wish he wasn't so nice. I can't be mad. I mean, I'm not mad at him to begin with, but I'm going to have to send him an email and be like, dude, you're not going to believe this. All right, so our distribution, we still have more tens than everything else. So that, not the worst distribution, especially considering none of these were expected to really do much. I'm happy with sevens on these. This is still, like I said before, I need to figure out what that code means. It almost makes it seem like it was trimmed. I don't know why they wouldn't have just said trimmed. I definitely didn't trim it. But let's see if we compare it. So again, no, I don't know that it was trimmed. I think it's just that card. I need to see if there were others that were graded. That's really disappointing. 
So anyway, as the old story goes, that's going to do it for this time. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, if you're interested in buying these cards, uh, most will be up on my eBay store. The link for that will be down in the description. If you bought from me before and would rather do the purchase on Kelm.net instead of eBay, that'll save both of us some money. So I get, get the card to you a little bit cheaper. And uh, that's through PayPal goods and services. You don't have to pay for any of the fees or anything. I take care of all that. We'll come up with a price. If it works, it works. So that's going to do it. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will talk at you soon.